So what I'm going to do is start with Mel. We're going to be talking that language. We're going to be putting the horse in a frame that has the horse connected through the back. And I'll talk more about that as we're going. It may not be the competition frame. It may not be the frame that you see in the textbooks. It may not be the nose in front of the vertical all the time. And I'm sorry to say, but that's just reality. The reality is we're going to put the horse's neck position where the back and the horse is most comfortable. And then through the half holds, you'll see the frame come up. So we'll start with Mel riding a five-year-old mare. Um, if you just want to start trotting, we'll start having a look. The very first thing that I try and do is just look at the horse first and look at the way the horse uses its body. Where the balance is, you want to see horses balanced on all four feet. You want to see them traveling straight through their, from their back end through their shoulders. So if I watch this horse coming down the long side, my first impression there is I'd like to see her pushing more from the back end because one of the trots that we have to do in dressage and the fundamental trot that becomes the basis of all of the trot training is working trot. So we want to make sure that the fundamental working trot is actually working, it's pushing. So Mel, if you can just come down the long side, make a 20 metre circle at E, just try to get, keep getting her to working trot. Now importantly, what we have to do is when the horse gets to working trot, we need to stop riding because we want the horse to be in front of our leg. And in front of the leg means when I stop riding, the horse keeps going by itself under its own steam. If the horse stops going, it's our job then to go tuck tuck with our legs and make some uncomfort until the horse goes again. And we need to keep having that discussion until the horse is prepared to stay in front of our leg in working trot. So we'll start working on that. That's it, so keep trying to keep her shoulders out in front of her hind legs. You can feel how she's dropping her shoulders in. That's it, doesn't matter what you have to go through there, just keep putting the shoulders in front of her hind legs. You may be able to see from the video, on the video that she's wanting to step a little to the outside and that's to stop having to work from both hind legs pushing at the same time. Sometimes I use the analogy to imagine the horse is like two people in a horse suit. I know it sounds crazy, but if you imagine the guy in the back of the horse suit, his job is to push the guy in the front of the horse suit along, not step out and favor one hind leg or the other, stay in behind the guy and push. So you can see how sometimes she wants to put her quarters out to stop pushing forward. And as soon as a horse steps sideways, they lose all that impulsion. So just go large. Now one thing we can do to try and keep the shoulders where we want is to adjust the neck position to inside flexion. Now dressage horses, by and large, should always look to the inside. We always want them to look to the inside and the reason for that is, is to make sure that we always get ourselves a secure outside rein. So we want the outside rein to be connected and we want the horse to be always looking inside. And that has the effect, if a horse's neck goes one way, their shoulders will go the other. And it just puts her shoulders in front of her hind legs. So one more time long side, then we'll change direction. But Mel, you can see they're putting the horse's neck to the inside, trying to get the horse into the outside rein. And you can see her squirming around, not wanting to push from the back end, but that's all part of working with young horses, right? So we'll change direction. And you can see when she came off that turn, she wanted to stop pushing. She put her hind legs to the outside. But our job as trainers and developing a system is to see that and make sure we have the right things in place so that she gets stronger there. That's purely a strength and a routine thing. So Mel's going up the long side, a little bit more trot, a little bit more push, that's it, good. And you may have seen that little injection of energy that just got that mare back to working trot. Horses are incredibly clever at training us to accept less and accept little things 
the best thing you can do when you're training is to ask yourself questions. So when you're riding along, say, is this working trot? Am I in working trot? Is my horse in front of my leg? Can I stop riding and my horse keeps going? They're the sort of questions I like to, I like to ask. Can I make flexion to the inside and keep my horse in the outside rein? Is my horse pushing from the back end and, and pushing, keeping its shoulders in front of its back legs? We'll make a 20 meter circle up there and then we'll change direction again. As you can see, that horse is starting to track more up from behind. Keep that working trot. We'll change direction just through a figure of eight. So changing direction through a simple figure of eight can actually be quite difficult because you're changing the direction of the shoulders. You're putting the horse into the new outside rein. You want the horse to keep pushing from the back end. You can see she wants to lean that shoulder in. So then Mel, keep your inside flexion and take her shoulders out. So keep putting those shoulders over to the outside. That's it. That's good, really good there. 